Hey, aloha, this is Harry from Kailua. Today I'm going to teach you an old Hawaiian song uh, on the ukulele. And it's a fun song. It will show you why I like studying old Hawaiian music. Um, this song is referred to a, as a traveling song. Okay, and I'll, I'll just sing it first. Hene hene ko aka ko ule ale apa hene ama ama o ia for you and I hene hene ko aka ko ule ale apa hene ama ama o ia for you and I. Ka uila makeneki, honi oni koki no, he me ama ama o ia for you and I. I kaka ako mako, ai ana i ka pipi stu, he me ama ama o ia for you. Waikiki mako awani ke kai he me ama ama o ia for you and I i kapa hulu mako ai ana i kalipo he me ama ama o ia for you. Hai na mai kapuana, ko ule ale apa, he me ama ama o ia, for you and I. Hai na mai kapuana, ko ule ale apa, he me ama ama o ia, for you. So this is Hene Hene Ko Aka. It was just uh, referred to as a traveling song. And um, in the old days, this, is, this, is, this song is written long ago when, um, when people traveled, people walked. Because there's very few people who own horse and carriages, usually the, the business people. Okay, so a favorite pastime of uh, people would be you know, say if we traveled from here, Kailua, to Honolulu, it would take hours of walking. So you would make up songs while you travel. So this song was a documentation of friends traveling from the airport area to our Diamond Head. And um, the six verses, the, f um, the first verse that I sang, Hene Hene Koaka Kole Ele Paha, um, means your laughter is so catching. Um, you know, when your friend starts laughing, it's kind of contagious, you start laughing too. So you, it's basically, you're having a good time, a usual thing for you and I. Okay, that's the first verse. The second verse, Ka'a'uila, is a um, horse and buggy, or I think in this case, it's a trolley. So I think when the trolley was first introduced in Hawaii, um, people started riding it and they're having a good time. Uh, getting bounced around because they never rode on anything like that before. So the second verse is they're riding on a horse and buggy or a trolley and they're getting bounced around. They're having a good time, usual thing for you and I. Okay. Third verse, um, they go to the district of Kaka'ako. Kaka'ako is downtown Honolulu. And they go there to eat pipi stew. Pipi stew is beef stew. So um, they're having a good time, um, usual thing for you and I. Okay, then the fourth verse, they go to Waikiki to swim in the ocean, and um, they're having a good time. The next verse is the um, historical history verse, kind of pictures old Hawaii. They go to Kapuhulu, which is in the backside of uh, Waikiki, and they go to 
pick up lipoa seaweed. Um, so this song was written probably before the Alawai Canal was built. Um, most of Waikiki is man-made. Um, so Waikiki, Waikiki, W-A-I means uh, freshwater. Kiki means springing. So the kings and queens of, of long ago lived there because there was a lot of water in front of Diamond Head, uh, fresh water to pr plant taro. And um, after the Chinese came, it became rice paddies. And um, so what happened was the Dillingham Company, the dredging company, um, dredged out the Alawai Canal to divert the water. And all the mud or the dirt that they dredged out went in front of Diamond Head. So most of the land in front of Diamond Head is all man-made. And uh, so this song was written before that happened. So that's what's kind of interesting because the shoreline went way inland. And so they went to Kapuhulu area to pick up lipoa seaweed, which is an edible seaweed. Yeah? And then the last verse, Haina Mai Kapuana, means this is the end of my story. And you will hear that in a lot of traditional hulas. <clears throat> the last verse is usually called Haina Mai Kapuana, just the story be told. Okay, so um, let's see, what could I tell you with this be before we do a close up? Um, there are six verses. Oh, let's go do a close-up, and I'll, I'll show you the words, and then I'll show you how to learn the melody. Okay. Okay, so here's a close-up of uh, learning Hene Hene Koaka. First, let's learn the intro that I used, uh, the Hawaiian vamp. So I played uh, two measures, uh, two beats of uh, D7, two beats of G7, and four beats of C. So you can strum any way you like, but um, just count maybe and just go one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, repeat. One, two, three, four. So that's the intro. And of course, you can strum it. I'm, I, I just use my thumb. You can use fingernails, whatever you want. Okay, so example one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then the rest of the song um, is this, in this order C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C two three four D seven two three four G seven C two three then you got the bam two three and it repeats again Hene Hene Ko Aka Ko Ule Ele Apa He Mea Ama Ia for you and I two three four one two three four and that's the whole song as far as the strumming or the chords, okay? Now I'm going to teach you um, the melody. So let's do it one verse at a time. So here's verse number one, Hene Hene. So I wrote there, Hene Hene Ko Aka Ko Ule Ale Apa He Me Ama Ama Iia for you and I. So this is a guide. You can play it in, this way. You can uh, look, play it instrumentally, but this way, this is a great way to train yourself how to sing it. And you pronounce every vowel. And remember, Hawaiian language A E I O U is A E I O U, and you pronounce every syllable. So Hene Hene Ko A Ka. Then. For you and I. Now, think about this. This song was written so long ago um, in Hawaii that very few people spoke English back then. So why does this old Hawaiian song have English words in it, like for you and I? Well, it's because the person who wrote the song was showing off that they knew some English words. <laughs> now, most languages, how native languages, work opposite from English. English is usually noun, verb, noun. But in um, Hawaiian language, it's the opposite. It's like something happens and then you describe it. So when uh, Hawaiian uses English words, they, they use it in the way that the Hawaiian language is operating. So. That's how we get pidgin English. It's usually backwards. So for you and I is not grammatically correct, but 
Um, you know, if you come to Hawaii, you're going to hear a lot of pidgin English. That's kind of, it will sound backwards. It's kind of like watching Star Wars and listening to Yoda. <laughs> you know, instead of let's go, it's, you might, you come to Hawaii and they will say, we go stay go <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, um, so that's the first verse. Let's see. Second verse here is Ka'a'uila makeneki Ho'onni onni kokino and the second half of the song is the same. Heme, heme ama, ama iya, for you and I. So the first uh, part, ka'auila, is the trolley or the horse and buggy, um, the vehicle. And um, the reason why I like learning old, old Hawaiian songs, or just Hawaiian songs in general, is very, you know, little by little I learn Hawaiian words and, so, and get the meaning. So... Um, we'll put the trans. You can you can download the the tablature and and there's there'll be um, translations there for you too. Okay, third verse. Ikaka akoma ko ai ana ika pipi stu. So they go to district of downtown Honolulu called Kaka Ako. Mako means like us. We go there, and pipi stu is beef stu. Like if you come to Hawaii, you might go to a restaurant and you, see, you might see on the menu pipi kaula, and that's the dried beef. It's like beef jerky. It's really tasty. And then let's see. Um, next verse. Iwaikiki mako au ana ike kai. Okay, now in this verse, you can learn kind of cool things here. W A I in Waikiki, which could be pronounced vi or y is fresh water, okay? And at the end of the verse, I mean, you see K-A-I, Kai, that's ocean water. So any word that has K-A-I in it, like Kailua, is, it has to do with ocean water, and W-A-I means fresh water. And then the word Ao, A-U, means to swim. So Ao Ana Ike Kai means they're swimming in the ocean when they go to Waikiki, and they're having a good time. Okay, next verse is the um, reference of old Hawaii. Oh, so they went to Kapuhulu and they went to pick up lipoa seaweed, which is an edible seaweed. Yeah. Last verse. Haina mai kapuana ko ule ale apaha means my. This is the end of my story um, of us having a good time, a usual thing for you and I. Um, when you, this is like a hula. So if you notice, there's six verses. When I performed it, um, I did the first verse and the last verse twice and all the verses in between one time. Um, traditionally, um, if you played a hula, um, if there's a hula dancer, you don't do any um, instrumental solos in between because when I watch a hula dancer uh, um, dance this song, what she does with her hands translates the meaning of this song. So if you're performing and you're backing up a hula dancer, you don't do any solos because there's nothing for her to, to um, translate with her hands. So um, when you play for a hula dancer, um, you usually do each verse twice. But if you want to shorten it, the one way to do it is the first verse and the last verse is always played twice, all the verses in between once. Now, if you're playing for someone, a hula dancer, and she doesn't want to dance all, all the verses, um, during the vamp, you know, like, I'm, you know, like, uh, let's see, uh, example. Um, for you and I. And during the vamp, she might turn around and tell you what verse to sing. She would direct you what um, verses she wants to dance. Um, so when you also um, back up a dancer, it's kind of like you look, you watch their feet and you back them up because you're providing the background for their dancing. So that's a good thing to know if uh, you get to play music and get to 
um, be honored to go uh, back up a dancer dancing. So it's pretty cool, cool stuff. So just wanted to share this uh, um, song just so that to let you know why I like learning old Hawaiian music. It kind of makes you picture old Hawaii in a different way. And you learn the culture along the way. All right, aloha, check back. I'll teach you more stuff.